With shows like The Lion King, MJ the Musical, and Aladdin gracing London's Broadway, theatre today may seem somewhat diverse and representative of wider society. But according to new data, behind the stage door tells another story. Over three quarters of black theatre professionals surveyed said racial bias is rife in theatre. More than half say they were racially discriminated against when applying for jobs. And over 70% say this comes down to lack of representation and understanding of diverse experiences. It's undeniable, it's factual, the research is there. For Ben, the statistics on racial bias are shocking, but sadly not surprising. It looks like people being passed over for jobs. It looks like a lack of training. It looks like a lack of opportunity. It's having to answer questions that have got nothing to do with me. I'm black Caribbean. I can't speak to the black African experience. There's no routes to change that, no support to change that yourself. That must be exhausting. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> so exhausting. It's a fight every day. While the report says that diversity on stage is definitely improving, it does, however, stress that it's off stage. So here in the audience and behind the scenes where the real work needs to be done. Solange Erdang is behind the data and says the problem is top down and that diversity in the arts is critical for authentic storytelling. All the big bosses are white in theatre. A black show to have a white musical director just doesn't seem to make sense. Why? Why is that happening? Um, it's is that quite common? Yes and white choreographers choreographing a black show. Until that's acknowledged by the whole industry, I don't think much can be done. And so Solange hopes for more funding and opportunities to make the arts more accessible. And will continue to make noise, a song and dance, if you will, to get black people in the arts a seat at the table, both on and off stage. Savage Audrey, Sky News.